Hello everybody welcome in our YouTube channel Celebrity Today we are back with another amazing video, so if you like our channel please share and subscribe for more videos. Jennifer Lopez Jennifer Lynn Lopez 2, born July 24, 1969, also known as J. Lo, is an American singer, actress, and dancer. In 1991, she began appearing as a fly girl dancer on In Living Color, where she remained a regular until she decided to pursue an acting career in 1993. For her first leading role in Selena, 1997, she became the first Hispanic actress to earn over one million US dollars for a film. She went on to star in Anaconda, 1997, and Out of Sight, 1998 and established herself as the highest paid Hispanic actress in Hollywood. 3. Lopez ventured into the music industry with her debut studio album on the 6, 1999, which helped propel the Latin pop movement in American music, and later starred in the psychological horror The Cell, 2000. With the simultaneous release of her second studio album J. Lo and her romantic comedy The Wedding Planner in 2001, she became the first woman to have a number one album and film in the same week. Her 2002 release, J. To Thalo. The remixes, became the first remix album in history to debut atop the US Billboard 200. Later that year, she released her third studio album, This Is Me then and starred in the film Made in Manhattan. After starring in Giggly, 2003, a critical and commercial failure, Lopez starred in the successful romantic comedies Shall We Dance, 2004, and Monster in Law, 2005. Her fifth studio album, Como Amina Muja, 2007, had the highest first week sales for a debut Spanish album in the United States. Following a relatively unsuccessful period, she returned to prominence in 2011 with her appearance as a judge on American Idol and released her seventh studio album, Love. From 2016 to 2018, she starred in the police drama series Shades of Blue and performed a residency show, Jennifer Lopez, All I Have, at Planet Hollywood Las Vegas. She also produced and served as a judge on World of Dance, 2017 to 2020. In 2019, she garnered critical acclaim for her performance as a stripper in the crime drama Hustlers. Early Life Lopez was born on July 24, 1969 in the Bronx, a borough of New York City, and raised in the Castle Hill neighborhood. 10 11 12, her parents, David Lopez and Guadalupe Rodriguez, were born in Puerto Rico and moved to the U.S. mainland as children. 213. After serving in the Army, David worked as a computer technician at Guardian Insurance Company. 14. Guadalupe was a homemaker for the first 10 years of Lopez's life and later worked as a Tupperware salesperson. 15. And a kindergarten and gym teacher. 1617. They divorced in the 1990s after 33 years of marriage career professional dancing and early acting roles, 1989-1996, Lopez's first professional job came in 1989 when she spent five months touring Europe with the musical review show Golden Musicals of Broadway. She was the only member of the chorus not to have a solo and later characterized it as a pivotal moment where she realized the importance of a tough skin in the entertainment business. 31 32, in 1990, she danced alongside MC Hammer in an episode of Yo! MTV Raps 33, and traveled around Japan for four months as a chorus member in synchronicity. 26, when she returned to the United States, she was hired as a backup dancer for New Kids on the Block's performance of games at the 1991 American Music Awards. 34, she also traveled around America with regional productions of the musicals Jesus Christ Superstar and Oklahoma. 35, during this period, Lopez also danced in music videos including Dougie Fresh's Summertime, Richard Rogers' Can't Stop Loving You, EPMD's Rampage, 36, and Samantha Fox's Hurt Me, Hurt Me, But the Pants Stay On Movie and Pop Stardom. 1997 to 2002, 
with her casting is the singer Selena Quintanilla Perez in the biopic Selena, 1997. Lopez became the first Latino actress to earn $1 million. 50. She was excited by the rare opportunity to actually star in a movie in the title role, 51, but expressed disappointment that other Latino actors were not being afforded the same opportunities. 52. Despite having previously worked with the film's director on Me Familiar, Lopez participated in an intense auditioning process 53, and spent time with the late singer's family in Corpus Christi, Texas before filming began. 54. Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times described it as a star-making performance and particularly enjoyed the on-stage scenes, she has the star presence to look convincing in front of 100,000 fans. 55. Kenneth Turin of the Los Angeles Times praised the incandescent performance. 56. Over the years, many have considered her performance worthy of a nomination at the Academy Awards. 57. I felt she not only should have been nominated, but she should have won an Oscar for that part, director and writer Gregory Narva says. Narva felt so strongly about Lopez's performance he approached the heads of Warner Brothers, at the time, and asked for an Academy campaign. Personal life Lopez was in a nearly decade-long relationship with David Cruz, her high school boyfriend, until the mid-1990s. 263, she would later say of Cruz, You get lucky? You have a first love like that? 264, she was married to Cuban waiter Ojari Noah from February 1997 to January 1998. In subsequent court cases, Noah was prevented from publishing a book about their marriage 265-266, and from using private honeymoon footage of Lopez in a documentary. 267-268. Lopez was in an on-off relationship with record producer and rapper Sean Coombs, then known as Puff Daddy, from 1999 to early 2001. 269-270. On the night of December 27, 1999, Lopez and Coombs were arrested and charged with criminal possession of a weapon and possession of stolen property, after leaving the scene of a shooting at a Times Square nightclub. Charges against Lopez were dropped within an hour 271, while Combs was acquitted of all charges at trial in early 2001. 272, they broke up shortly thereafter. 24, Lopez later said that, while she had cared very much about Combs, their crazy, tumultuous relationship was always something I knew would end. 273-24, she was married to Christ Judd, her former backup dancer.